it's Brock here from Rock Hill Farms and today I'm going to work on clearing this pasture and trying to turn it into a hay field eventually. Step one is just getting these brush piles cleared. Um, I've already done some work on a few of these brush piles but there's still a lot left and they're just kind of scattered around. I actually wondered if the previous owner had kind of left this brush here as a little bit of an animal habitat. Um, regardless if that's the case or not, I want to get them all clear. I want to get this mowable. You know, there's plenty of animal habitat. There's a bunch of acreage here that's untouched. I don't know who owns it, or I've never seen anyone out here. So I'm not concerned about that. I want to make every bit of my ground useful for something. And I don't hunt, so this area I think should be part of our hay production. We've already got quite a bit of area right over here that's hayable and even right where I'm standing is good flat ground just might need a little bit of work uh, seeding or spraying or testing the soil that sort of thing um, but as far as clearing these brush piles that I'm working on today it's brush it's trees actually growing but I think they're small enough that I can hit them with the brush hog so I've got the grapple down here and I've got the brush hog then after I get done clearing it with that, there's a big mound of dirt underneath it that's going to have to be smoothed and graded out. So I've got a couple of days of work probably just clearing all these brush piles, leveling the ground, and then seeing if there's any rocks in here that need dug out. Then it'll be good enough that I can mow it. Then the next phase will be finding out what I need to do as far as seeding or fertilizing or anything like that to make sure I have a quality grass here that can be used for hay. So if you have any advice on that, I have no experience uh, as a hay farmer. I don't know anything about it other than, you know, just watching the neighbors pull hay off of this. I don't know much. So if you have any advice for me, go ahead and put it in the comments. In the meantime, I've had kind of a busy day, but I've got about a four hour window that I can work on clearing this land. So I'm gonna film all that. I hope you enjoy it and let's get going. So what you're seeing right now is what I came down here to do. That is, use the grapple to pick out 
some brush and then brush hog over everything else and seemed pretty straightforward but that didn't end up being what this project is at all so at this point I've only spent you know 20 minutes down here and it looks like 90% of this brush pile is clear what it's kind of hard to see is that there's a really large pile of dirt right in the middle of this brush pile where it looks like they might have had some storm damage or some brush and I believe the they just pushed all this into a pile with a, a bulldozer or a skid steer or something like that and it pushed a bunch of brush and um, little small logs and branches and everything into one pile with a bunch of dirt so what this project mainly ended up being was how to spread that pile of dirt out and sort all of the rocks and sticks and debris out of the pile there was also a pretty good sized tree stump here that I could barely see and it looked pretty rotten and looked like it was going to be no big deal and that didn't turn out to be the case either this was a larger tree about three or four inches that I didn't really want to try to force the brush hog over and I pop trees like this out all the time with my artillion stump bucket and I thought maybe I could do the same thing with the grapple but I couldn't quite get enough lifting force to do that with that center rake on the grapple because the grapple sections were shoving into the ground and I couldn't lift them through the dirt. Now I think if I had taken the two grapple sections off and just used that middle rake, it probably would have done it, but I decided to just go ahead and, and knock it out with the brush hog like you see here. So that left me with two problems that I already mentioned. You can barely even see the stump in the middle, but we'll get to that in a minute. So what I found out, I actually went up here in a minute and just got the bucket and the box blade on and I thought well I'll just spread this dirt and I'll be done but if you look as I shake that out it's a lot of dirt but then when I'm done shaking off all the dirt there's still a lot of uh, debris and brush in there and this was just roots basically that you're seeing but some sections of it had big wood chunks and branches in it and so I had to sort that out. So like a lot of things, it's a learning process and I got better at this as I go along. And I tried a few different ways of sorting this material out. Next I decided to switch out implements and see what I could do with the landscaping rake and I think at this point I also put the bucket on because I thought I would be back dragging quite a bit but that wasn't really helpful with as much trash as there was in this pile. You might also notice I put the cab doors on but not the back glass. So. The weather forecast was showing 30% chance of rain all day long and it has been sprinkling a little bit on and off so I decided to go ahead and put the doors on but I left the back off so I could get a little bit more air because I haven't got my fans installed yet. It was only about 52, 54 degrees at this time so it was really pretty comfortable in there with the doors on and the back open. So the process I was using at this point was just to rake through the dirt and drag it until all of the dirt fell out but I still had the debris in the rake. 
Then I would switch directions and drag the debris over to my little pile I was making. And then at the end, I used the rake and the grapple to sort through that final pile one more time. At this point, I realized that there was enough stump left there that it could be a problem for me. But I still didn't think it was a big deal because the stump was in such rough shape and looked like it had been there for a long time and had been worked on before. So I decided, rather than get the stump grinder or the stump bucket, I'd just see if I could dig around it a little bit with the bucket and then wiggle it out or jerk it out with the chain. And I still at this point didn't think that stump was going to be much of a problem. But as you'll see here in a minute, I found out otherwise. With the clip playing in high speed, it's probably hard to tell. But I repeatedly stopped and tried to push on the stump. And if it had any wiggle at all, I probably would have stuck with this method and got a chain and really tried to get it out. But it was not budging, so I stopped on it for now. After that, I just continued the process of raking through this dirt and alternating directions until I got all the debris I could into one pile. Once it was all piled up, I picked it up with the grapple again and started shaking it out, letting more dirt fall through, and carried it up to my brush pile. And that was 95% of all the debris is out of this right now. And to get it better, I probably could just walk through and pick up a few rocks or sticks that were missed. I don't know how well a project like this comes across in video and if it looks like it was quick and easy or or what, but this was about four or five hours to get this cleaned up. All right, well, I got it all done, but there were a couple of things that I didn't anticipate on this project that changed the way I had to do it and made it a little bit more difficult than I expected. Number one is I totally underestimated the volume of dirt in the center of this and the fact that that dirt was a 50-50 mix of dirt and chunks of wood and sticks. So I was left with the task of trying to separate the dirt from the wood because I don't want dirt in my wood, my brush pile up there and I can't spread the wood chunks around here. So. I just decided to try a few different things and find out what works because, you know, that's how you learn. So I tried it with the grapple, I tried it with the landscape rake, and both worked fairly well, but neither worked great. Anyway, I got it done. And the second thing that I didn't expect was that this stump here would be so stubborn. The top of that stump's completely rotten. It's flaking off and falling apart, and it's been burned on the side. But apparently it still has a strong tap root that's digging that's pretty deep because I tried to just dig it a little bit with the bucket and You know, I still couldn't move it. Maybe if I had a bigger tractor, but sometimes those those Remaining roots will be a lot stronger than you think So I'm gonna have to come back down here and use the stump grinder to remove that and since I've already bringing the stump grinder down here, I'll grind out some of these little stobs that I um, broke off or ripped out with the uh, grapple. Then I've got another brush pile over here. Then I need to brush hog this whole area and try to make it where we can get hay here at least by next year. So I appreciate you guys taking time to watch this video. In just a minute you'll see links on the screen to a couple more of our videos and I'll see you next time.